So we're now going to be considering magnetic dipole moments. We've seen electric dipole moments, which are represented by the symbol P before. We've seen that when we place an electric dipole moment into an electric field, the torque on the electric dipole moment is given by torque is equal to P cross E. And we've seen that the potential energy of the electric dipole in the electric field can be described by the equation U is equal to minus P dot E. Now it turns out that we've got very similar relationships for magnetic dipole moments. Magnetic dipole moments are represented by the Greek letter mu and they are also vectors. Now magnets are always found as a dipole. We can't have a north pole separate from a south pole. And we've also seen that loops of current, for example in a solenoid, form a magnet with a north and a south pole. So we can picture magnetic dipole moments as loops of current. The direction of the magnetic dipole moment is the same as the direction of the magnetic field. So this is perpendicular to the plane of the loop. To work out the direction of a magnetic dipole moment, we can use our right hand screw rule. If we point our thumb in the direction of the current, then our fingers wrap around to show us the direction of the magnetic field, which is the same as the direction of the magnetic dipole moment. So the magnitude of the magnetic dipole moment is given by n times i times a, where n is the number of turns making up the loop, I is the current which is flowing through the loop and A is the area within the loop. So from this you can see that the units for magnetic dipole moment are going to be meters squared amps. Now we've previously seen the torque on a current carrying loop when we were considering motors. We saw that the torque was given by the equation torque is equal to IABN times sine theta, where theta is the angle between the normal to the loop and the magnetic field. So using our expression for mu, which is equal to NIA, we can see that this is going to be equal to mu cross B. Now when we rotate a magnet in a magnetic field, we do change its potential energy. So the potential energy equation for a magnetic dipole moment in a magnetic field is given by U is equal to minus mu dot B. Now the zero point in this case is taken when the plane of the loop is parallel to the magnetic field. So this means that the magnetic dipole moment is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So this was the situation that we originally considered when we were considering motors and we were working out the torque. Now if we rotate the magnetic moment away from that position, we are adding or removing potential energy. So the minimum potential energy is going to be when the magnetic dipole moment is parallel to the magnetic field, and the maximum is going to be when the magnetic moment points in the opposite direction but parallel to the magnetic field. So let's have a look at an example problem now. So the question is, electrons have a magnetic moment equal to one ball magneton, which is equal to EH over four pi times the mass of the electron, which is 9.27 times 10 to the minus 24 joules per tesla. When an electron is placed in a certain magnetic field, the energy difference between the parallel and anti-parallel alignment to the field is 6.00 times 10 to the minus 25 joules. What is the strength of the magnetic field? So in this question, we're considering the energy difference between the two alignments. So in one alignment, we've got the magnetic moment parallel to the magnetic field. And we saw that in this case, the potential energy is given by minus mu b. And in the other case, they are anti-parallel. So that's like this, and we saw that the potential energy in this case was equal to mu b. 
So to answer this question, the energy difference between the two cases is going to be this one minus this one. So it'll be mu b minus minus mu b. So this will equal two mu b. So to find the magnetic field strength b, it's equal to the energy difference divided by two mu. And so this is equal to the energy difference here, 6.00 times 10 to the minus 25 divided by 2 times the magnetic moment of the electron, which is 9.27 times 10 to the minus 24. So solving this on the calculator, we get 0 0.0324 teslas as the magnetic field strength. So this actually leads to something called the Zeeman effect in atoms. So when atoms are placed into a magnetic field, the spectral lines actually split into different components. And this effect can be used to measure the magnetic field of things such as the sun just by looking at where the spectral lines are. It's also made use of in magnetic resonance imaging, MRIs.